right, uh, don't mind the glow here. But anyway, uh, today we are going to do Lips Like Sugar by Echo and the Bunnymen. Uh, I was going to do a different reaction, but I tried to upload it and uh, it was blocked. So anyway, uh, yeah, I figured, well, Echo and the Bunnymen have been uh, requested quite a bit. So uh, Lips Like Sugar, why the heck not? Let's get into it and uh, see what's going on.
Well, Lips Like Sugar. Sugar by Echo and the Bunnymen. Uh, so yeah, that was a really, I want to say, a feel-good song. It was very nice. A lot of good vibes coming from that song. Uh, I don't know. I just felt very happy when I was listening to it. <laughs> it sounds kind of funny to say. I don't know. But uh, yeah, just a nice feeling song. And uh, I guess it's just like maybe the chorus. I mean, you know, lips like sugar, uh, sugar kisses. Lips like sugar, sugar kisses. You know, nice little uh, feeling, you know, uh, nice imagery. You know, uh, you think of a loved one. You think of a pet, you know. Uh, well, I mean, I guess not a pet, because, I mean, you don't really kiss them on the lips uh, and all that. But anyway, uh, yeah, great song. I really liked it. Uh, so that's all. No, um, I don't know. I'm feeling hyper. What's going on? Anyway, I like this song a lot, Lips Like Sugar. Uh, and I'm looking here at uh, the personnel, and uh, I'd imagine it's always the same. But, uh, you know, on vocals, Ian McCullough. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. I can't remember. Uh, and then the, uh, Les Pattinson, Pete De Fritas and Will Sargent, uh, and yeah, so there's your band. And then we go on. I'm on uh, Wikipedia here, and I just got a little bit of something going on here. So let's see. Lips Like Sugar is a single by Echo and the Bunnymen, which was released in August 1987. It was the second single from their 1987 album. Uh, it goes on self-titled album, I think it says. Yeah. Uh, initially dismissed by Ian as too commercial. Oh boy. Lips Like Sugar became a chart success in the UK, Ireland, and New Zealand. Uh, despite not charting in the US, the song has become one of their most famous songs in America, thanks in part to college radio airplay and its music video directed by Anton Corb Corbin, uh, which was regularly broadcast on MTV's 120 Minutes program, uh, back when MTV played music videos and such. Uh, the song has since been covered by multiple artists and has been positively received by critics. Uh, so we have some background here, so here we go. Ian McCullough wrote the lyrics to Lips Like Sugar and Roller Coaster, while the music is uh, credited to Ian, uh, Will Sargent, and Les Pattinson, Lips Like Sugar. Uh, it was produced by Lori Latham. Uh, so yeah, that sentence doesn't make much sense, but yeah, it was credited to all three of them. Uh, so then we go on, release, like I said, it was released. We all know that, uh, okay. And uh, Genius.com as well. Uh, just looking at some uh, annotations, there's not many. I think there's only one, and it's from the third verse. And it's, uh, she'll be my mirror, reflect what I, what I am. Uh, so let's see what they have to say there. Uh, she is elusive, so I know very little about her. I fill in the gaps with who I am. Uh, and we have some responses to that, so let's see what people are saying here, eh? Let's just see... Apparently, you have to sign in uh, to see comments and such. So anyway, uh, yeah, this song was really good. And uh, I do want to say a uh, shout out uh, here to the, where is it? Where is it? The bridge, the instrumental bridge. Yes, um, the instrumental bridge. I really, really enjoyed that part. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't really get much more to say. But like it said, I will say uh, Ian uh, apparently kind of disown the song. I don't know what he feels like about it now, but uh, it does say that on uh, Wikipedia. And I kind of understand. I mean, it says, uh, there was a quote somewhere, but I lost it. But uh, it kind of was different from what they were what they were doing. So uh, it was kind of a different, uh, kind of a different sound for them. But uh, I liked it a lot. And uh, I think it was pretty friggin' good. So anyway, uh, thanks for the suggestion. And thanks for suggesting... Uh, Echo and the Bunnymen all together because I've uh, discovered some good music from a good band. So anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting, all that stuff. Really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, shout out to Echo and the Bunnymen. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. And I love you so much. Oh yeah. Okay, goodbye.